Hi, I'm the 13th Wolfman, and the people over at HD Cinema Classics and Film Chest were nice enough to send over this, this classic Frank Sinatra film called Suddenly. This is the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Comes with this great looking cover. I love that. You open it up, and what I was going to show you just popped out. Here's the Blu-ray, here's the DVD, and they <clears throat> they made a, a movie poster a postcard for you. In 1954, Frank Sinatra, well, in 53, he had won the Oscar for From Here to Eternity. Um... The, for best supporting actor and he wanted to prove to the world that it wasn't a fluke and he wanted to take a lot more serious roles and rather just being a the crooner the the baby face so his next film comes along and he plays he makes the movie suddenly in this movie he plays an assassin and he's paid to assassinate the president of the united states this is 1954, I believe. Um, so, the movie comes out, and it's dark. Sinatra's at his best doing this. I mean, you, he might look short compared to the guy playing the, the sheriff. Um, Sterling Hayden. It's on the cover. Uh, Sterling Hayden. Uh, to stand like he's got to stand six three six four easy. He just towers over Sinatra when they're standing together. But you really feel that Frank Sinatra is the bad guy. He's not going to take any crap. He's he's going to come out all guns blazing. You know he's 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 had the rough life. He's been downtrodden. You know his family was never there for him. He joined the army. They he joined the service. And uh, they turned him into a killer. And now he's a paid assassin and someone paid him half a million dollars to kill the President of the United States. In this little town called Suddenly. That's right. Suddenly is the name of the town. Sterling Hayden plays this really cool, basically almost an Andy Griffith-like sheriff before Andy Griffith was sheriff in the Andy Griffith Show. Uh, very calm, very laid back, um, does take things seriously when he has to, and he's trying to court Nancy Gates, who is a widower, a widow, I guess, a widower is the guy, a widow. Um, her husband was killed in the war, and he really likes her, and he wants to, he wants to court her, and romance her, and take her out. He likes her son named Pidge, and whatever that's about. Um, and uh, she just, she's not feeling it. She feels that she's dedicated to love her husband from the day they got together to the day that she dies, you know. But he's not feeling, you know, he he has something that he wants to show, to, he wants to prove to her, not show her, but probably does, but that's not what I'm getting at. Um, this is digitally rem this thing fell into public domain, which everybody knows that when you hear the words public domain, it means that everybody has a copy and it's usually like the worst copy on the planet. This has happened with um, Night of the Living Dead, you know, where it falls in the public domain. Everyone puts out a copy of of that movie, and they don't they don't try at all to. Uh, to make it look any better. Well, in this case, that's the complete opposite of what happened. This is in public domain, HD, cl HD Cinema Classics got this movie. They digitally remastered it. The picture looks great. It's just incredible how good this looks. This is a person. You guys know that I'm a Frank Sinatra fan. You guys know that. As Along with being a horror movie fan, I am a movie lover of film. You know, I'm a lover of film, movie lover of film. I'm a lover of film. 
So, this movie just looks incredible. I have this, I have a VHS of this somewhere around, around here, and it looks terrible. It just, it's god-awful. It's all scratchy. You can hardly hear anything. The picture on this, and I watched the Blu-ray, it's crisp. It's clear. The sound is nice. It's in a full screen uh, aspect ratio. I'm fine with that. You know? I mean, it's a movie from the 1950s. There aren't a lot, you know, there, there weren't a lot of them that saved the, the widescreen adaptions. I mean, so... Especially one that falls into public domain. So what I'm saying is, HD Cinema Classics did a great job. They really make this movie look good. And if you're a fan of classic 1950s cinema, gangster movies, Frank Sinatra, Sterling Hayden, Nancy Gates, you can't go wrong with Suddenly. I'm going to give this, this is a really, I love the film. Um, I love the look of the film. It's four chainsaws out of four chainsaws easy. It's a short film, though. That's the only fallback. It's only like 75 minutes long, but they get to the point where they want to get to in that time, and it doesn't feel like it drags. It's not overacted. It's a, it's a well-done film, in my opinion. So this is definitely a four chainsaw out of four chainsaw film. I say go to, to their website, hdcinemaclassics.com. I'll leave the link below. You can go there, you can check out their stuff. They have some other great stuff like Dementia 13, The Pitfall, Zat, amongst others, you know. I'm the 13th Wolfman, I'm on the prowl.